let's suppose that you want to sell on amazon.com.au and you want to do, what was your thing again? Inspirational gifts for women. So that sounds, at least at first blush, like a great place to go doing gifts. But the thing is, so you've got 9,000 people, 9,000 results for that particular thing, okay? But here's something interesting. <coughs> Not one single person, inspirational gift card for her, other than that one, and that's not even a good one, with inspirational gift card. Nobody's trying to rank for that keyword on this particular page, which is surprising. So what I do is I go to, let's go check out uh, amazon.com. Let's go see what happens there. So uh, what I'm doing is I'm trying to build up an idea of the competitive landscape on Amazon for that search term. So I can see here there's 20,000 results, but, ooh, that's interesting. Idea lists, hey, that's interesting. That's the first time I've seen that. That's very, very interesting. Here's a quick suggestion. Create your own idea list and put your products into it for things like that, because that clearly is something that Amazon's testing, all right? All right, let's continue on. So we've got inspirational Brangle for women. All right, cool. So now I can see that there are people who were optimizing their, their listings for that search term. Let's just come over to our good friend Merchant Words and see what sort of search volume there is. Inspirational gifts for women, 224,000. Yep, that looks pretty bloody sexy to me. So on the face of it, Ross, Ros, I would say yes, looks bloody good on paper. However, here's something to think about. What, who is the buyer of an inspirational gift for a woman? Is it a man or a woman? What is it purchased for? A birthday, a Christmas gift, a Valentine's gift? What, when is it purchased? What is the holiday that it's being purchased for or the occasion? Consider that as well, because those sort of things will for sure influence the sort of gift that the buyer is looking for. So an inspirational gift for a woman who's turning 50 is a much different gift than for somebody who's um, just graduated from university, for instance. So they're much different buyers of gifts and they're looking for much, much different things as well. So that would be good for you to consider when you actually put together your product ideas. But as a search term, rock and roll looks good to me. Looks good to me. Hey, thanks so much for watching that video and I hope that you got some massive value from it. Before you go, do you live in Australia? If you do, this is for you. Would you like to learn how to sell things on Amazon here in Australia? Would you like to know what sells really, really well and what sells for the maximum amount of profit? Would you like to know where you can source those products from, whether that be in China or here in Australia and how to source them so you pay bottom, bottom dollar and get maximum value for what you're doing. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and you'll learn that and much, much more. It's the exact same information that people like Jeff from New South Wales I've used to make $45,000 a month on Amazon that Sue, who's from the sunny coast, has used to purchase herself a brand spankly BMW every single year as a result of her e-commerce business. And the lovely Kate from Barrel in New South Wales has used to make $32,000 a year on, uh, sorry, a month, not a year, a month on Amazon. And indeed, Anthony, who makes $15,000 a month on Amazon selling, as he puts it, odds and sods. If you'd like to learn the exact same inf information that they use to maximize their profits for their Amazon businesses, subscribe to this video, like my channel, and post below if you want me to teach you something. Okay, I'm out of here. Speak to you soon. Bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. Do it now.